I'm so sorry. I was trying to figure this thing out for the longest. For the longest. It's all good. I think, you know, patience is something that yeah, we are definitely having to work on these days. And I just yeah. had to work on it. But I appreciate I appreciate you waiting on me. Appreciate you for having us on here just to be able to discuss this important topic that's at hand. What's going on across the whole world? Yeah, no, I really do with it. Thank you for the invitations. Like I said, uh, we had a discussion earlier, and I think as we all are navigating this very unprecedented time, I mean, we need to keep having conversations, right? right. We need right. to keep talking and creating space for people to talk. So we, because we all need one another in order to right. get through this. So thank you for this platform, and I'm looking forward to our chat today. I am too. I am too, without a doubt. So I had a couple questions that I made sure I put down in my notes and everything so I could ask you that I think would be beneficial for everybody. Um, in this time of crisis, what's something you could give us to keep us in a positive mindset to keep moving forward to get through this thing? Yeah, so I think the first thing that comes to mind when I hear that question is there's so much information that we're being exposed to, right? Like there's information overload. And so I think one of the first things that we have to do is really be mindful of how much information we're taking in and what information we're taking in. Right. Certainly all of us want to be aware, like we want to know what's going on, but I do think we need to monitor that. So not listening to news 24 seven is right, one way right. to help. Just monitoring what we take in is a really big way to help us in maintaining that positive mindset. I think the other thing is it's very easy to focus on what we feel like we're losing, right? Mm -hmm. We can't move around. We can't go to our places of work. We can't go hang out with our friends and family. And I think it's really easy to focus on the things that we are not able to do. But mm -hmm. what's really crucial is for us to still focus on the things that we have, right? And to be grateful for the things that have not changed, right? right? right. So if you have healthy family and loved ones, that's a real positive thing right now, right? Right, right? If you can, we are often so caught up in the grind and work, 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 that the world has really given us an opportunity to pause. And so mm -hmm. taking advantage of this to reconnect with people that we may not have connected with, right? right, right. We were caught up in the grind. And so I really think focusing on what we can still be grateful for day to day, what we can be grateful for, even the smallest right. things, because those are the big things. Monitoring right. how much information we consume and what kinds of information we're taking in. And then I think doing healthy things, right? Exercise. Yeah. Engaging in mindfulness practice, Headspace and Calm, um, and others have created um, uh, packets of free meditations and mindfulness exercises that we can all take advantage of. So right. just doing, engaging in, in healthy behaviors, monitoring your information intake, um, and then just being grateful for what we still have in the midst mm -hmm. of this, this unique situation, I think are really important. Without a doubt. I mean, it is, it is it's something that none of us ever would have imagined being at this point, you know, just not sports wise, just across the whole world, you know, everybody being locked down, shut, uh, shut off in the house. So that leads me to my next question being with us being stuck in the house. What are some methods or things that people could do to keep their mind, you know, active and keep going, you know, especially after being stuck in the house for what, 18 days now, yeah. um, just to keep moving and keep that, that motivational factor, moving us forward and not become so idle, just stuck in the house. Yeah, I think that's a that's a tougher one, right? Because if we are following the mandates, then you should be sheltering in place, which means you're not going many places. And whomever is in your home with you, y'all are there, right? right, together. And no matter how much love you have, you know, being around the same people for an extended period of time can be really tough. Right. Um, so I think recognizing that everybody's going through the same thing is one. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think, you know, again, just because we're together in the house all the time doesn't mean we have to do everything together, right? right? right, right there right. can still be times where you do your individual activities and maybe break away from the people in your home to do your own thing. And there's not a, that's not a bad thing, right, right? right? Because we are not commuting and traveling and going to an office, we don't have that built in separate time so we may have to be really intentional about creating that whether it's you know stepping outside just to change the scenery again not going anywhere but just outside to get right, some exactly, fresh air yeah. to see the sun you know i think those are really small things that we can do that might make a big difference mm -hmm. spending time together when we can but you know going to try something new right mm -hmm. i've seen a lot of people say you know i read a book for the first time in 
you know, months because I had time to do it. Or I'm trying to learn an instrument or I'm, I'm doing puzzles. I'm doing something that's different than what I would normally do. And so I think that's something else we can do is to, to try to diversify the activities that we're doing while we're in the home so that even though we're in the same place, we're doing new things. And mm -hmm. that can be really helpful. I would ask for you and your family, kind of what are some things that you all have done to try to manage being together all the time? Um, I've been just trying to challenge myself every single day, try to do something new um, out the ordinary for myself. Um, I try to do a, a big old puzzle the other day. Uh -huh. um, I haven't did since middle school, you know, yeah. just steady working out every single night. Like you said, trying to get outside as much as possible um, just to get a fresh air, um, fill the sun a little bit, um, right. run, around, run around with the kids, you know, um, me, especially having two daughters, you know, just trying to be their teacher, make up for a lot of lost time that, you know, I probably miss throughout the season that, you know, us as athletes don't get a chance to have, um, you know, just trying to keep busy as much as possible, as much as possible, and just wake up and try to do the same thing um, the next day. You know, I try not to look too far ahead so it don't drive me crazy. You know, I just try to live in a moment of the day, get past it, and, you know, find something else that give me the challenge and, and motivation to keep going to the next day. Yeah, and I think you bring up a really good point, like focusing on the moment, because that's all we really have. Things are changing so quickly. If we, if we, focus too much on what life was before COVID-19 mm -hmm. or if we try to predict what's going to happen afterwards, like that can lead to more anxiety yeah. and more yeah, sure. fear, right? And so yeah. really being focused on this present moment and channeling our energy into what we can control right now today because right. that's exactly. really all we have. Um, I think you also make up a really good point for the parents who are now homeschooling children while also trying to work and also trying to create some playtime. Like, the reality of that is that's a lot, right? And so yeah. I think acknowledging that reality is really important as well because it's not just a situation where we're adjusting um, to some situation that we've all faced before. This is all new. Mm -hmm. And I think acknowledging that it's new and there are some unknown elements and we are feeling uncertain. We're like just giving ourselves permission to be honest about what we're feeling, mm -hmm. I also think is a really important thing for us to all be able to do as right. we continue to navigate this situation. I agree. I agree. You know, I yeah. think I think this is definitely beneficial for everyone, you know, that's mm -hmm. trying to figure it out every single day, trying to figure out ways to, to just keep pushing, try to mm -hmm. find that, 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 that happy place to be stuck in. And like you said, not constantly look at the news and see so much negativity, have them have people overthinking, thinking too much. You know, at the end of the day, we are, we're all in this together. So every single day, we got to figure it out and look towards the positivity of, of things because at right. the, end of, the end of it, you know, I, my hopes is everybody find a, a new appreciation for life, period, because at any given moment, so many things could be snatched away from us. You know, the things we love to do, the people we love, everything, you know, so... Um, just keeping in, the, just staying in the right mindset, honestly, you know, I think yeah. the biggest thing and, you know, um, we all going to get through this, however long it takes, <laughs> yes. you know, that's, 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 yeah. the, that's the main part about it. Yeah, this is a, a phase in our history, right? Like, yeah. and we have to navigate it, but like all things, this too will change, right? And so sure, trying yeah. to keep in mind that this is temporary mm -hmm. and that, you know, in our lives in general, we've, we've all had to adjust. If I think about athletes, you all have to deal with change, transition, and adjustment all the time, whether it's being injured, you know, changing teams, mm -hmm. um, different coach, different teammates. Like, we're all navigating transitions. For the rest of us, you know, even at work, your boss may be different. You may change your job. Unfortunate loss of loved ones, ending of yeah. relationships, new relationships. Like, there are a lot of transitions that we all face on a regular basis. Granted, now, what we're dealing with now is, pretty big in magnitude right? right and the right. world is dealing with it at the same time mm -hmm. but again tapping into that resilience that you have and that you use to deal with other unexpected situations can really be helpful in this scenario yeah, exactly exactly mm -hmm. i'm yeah. so i'm so appreciative appreciative of your words and everything it's been hopefully beneficial for not just for myself but for everybody who's watching and whoever's going to watch this video um, yep. just, just moving forward just trying to get through this thing 
Yeah, can I offer one more thing about the, the connection piece, right? Because I've heard the phrase of, you know, we're socially distancing. And right. I think what we really need to think about is we are physically distant, but we right. need to remain socially yeah. connected, right? Yeah. So even for the people who may live alone or feel a bit more isolated because you can't go out, it's really important to still find ways to socially connect and engage, whether that's via social media, you know, mm -hmm. hosting virtual happy hours or both virtual meetings with friends and family. It might even be old school and just picking up the phone if you don't right, have yeah. access yeah. to online, you know, technology. But really being mindful about staying socially engaged and connected with people because that's important. What we know is isolation can really affect us negatively in a physical sure. and mental way. And so we are physically distant, but we are socially in this together and we need to be really intentional about staying socially connected. Yeah, we got the we got the greatest platform of yes. in history to be able to connect be connected to everybody. Um Absolutely. So take advantage of it, find the positivities, the laughter and, and, and everything that's out there for us to be able to enjoy and yes. we can all do it from our phone and not feel alone. So um yep. I'm glad you said that. That's a that's a great point. Yeah. So thank you again for this platform. And yes, we're all in this together. One day Thank, at you. Time. thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it, Doc. You're welcome. All right.